it's made from those inflatable air dancer things you see outside stores. Oh, they must have borrowed them from Emperor Greg's used car lot. No doubt about it. If the director was good at anything, it was figuring out how to do things as cheap and cheesy as can be. Call three foot tall actors needed. Must be okay with exploitation and standing around in a poorly ventilated paper mache suit all day. Go. No B movie is complete without crawling brains. What comes up with this stuff? What about brain creatures is they should be smart, right? I mean, think about it. They're a brain being smart is like it. These things just crawl towards the hero and get squished. Way to go, brains. once human or something? Did they lose their will to live? Now their bodies are gone? Hmm, maybe they like cow brains. That's why they aren't so smart. Or maybe like a manatee brain. Yeah. Water cows are adorable.
And yep, here comes the crocodile alien men, right on cue. <laughs> Where did they come from? Are they all friends with the bobblehead aliens? toothbrush because you discovered that they all have bad breath. Deleted scene. <laughs> 
disruptor in action? It contradicts everything we understand about flight. The phenomenon is a strange one indeed. But what are you getting at? By studying your language, we've discovered there are some sounds which cannot be uttered. It's taken our elders many generations to create a list of these magic words. Please, take this tablet and read it in a loud, clear voice. What trickery is this? It's nothing but a list of curses and foul language. You see, even you can't speak the magic words. I most certainly could. I just choose not to use such vulgarity. Then the second artifact upholds the prophecy. Tread carefully. The others will try to destroy you. Yes, about that. Why are the other aliens trying to kill us? The others fear you, Chosen Ones. You have the power to alter reality. The naysayers want to silence you. Oh, I get it. With their G rating, they weren't allowed to swear in the movie. Not like there's any consistency between all these few movie monsters, but they somehow steal the show. like my old Aunt Bertha. Thank <laughs> you. 
thinking when they built this place like they couldn't just build a normal stairway were tiles that appear and disappear right under your feet really the best option for getting up this tower <laughs> Bertha, looking pretty pale there. I'd sure cut off all the smoking at Bertha. It might kill you. Or, you know, that hero who's got a pretty bad grudge against you.
Just my reflection. I've seen it dozens of times. No, no. Gaze behind you. Whoa, hey now! Who are all those people? The great eye in the sky controls everything in our world. They must be its servants. We found one of their ancient scriptures. Hmm. The Deadly Tower of Monsters. The thrilling tale of Dick Starspeed's battle to overthrow the evil Emperor of Bravoria. Every prophecy in the ancient scripture has come true. Only you can help us. Turn to page 63. Production note. Is it too late to change Dick's name? A bit lacking, no? No, no. Keep reading. The next section. Final confrontation. The Emperor discovers the whereabouts of the native Bravorians and endeavors to kill them for more gold. Oh, that is what you were afraid of. Fear not, Gravorians. His ship has fallen, so surely At he last, is... I have discovered the whereabouts of the native Gravorians. I shall endeavor to kill them for more gold. I shall turn you to gold and craft a tea set out of you. <laughs> Better yet, I'll turn you into gold tiles in my bathroom floor! <laughs> You're no match for my throne ship!
You must make contact with those people and change our destiny. Huh? What's going on? Don't jump off the set, you're... Hey, that really hurt! Uh, I've worked with some difficult actors before, but you are the worst. Scene. Do you have any idea how much it costs to do retakes? Oh, no, you don't. Don't you dare jump off the set again. Don't you dare to... You've gone absolutely mad. Is this those damn method acting courses you've been taking? You want more money? You can't renegotiate your contract mid-shoot. We don't want any more Gravorians or apes to die. You... what? You are in command of this world. We want you to seize these misfortunes. Wait, let me get this straight. You want me to change the script. Fine, fine, I'll make the changes. So, the Emperor becomes a kind-hearted, generous man. Oh, oh, and he loves puppies in the springtime. He frees the slaves, signs a peace treaty, yada, yada, yada. And bam, everyone lives happily ever after. Okay, is that fine? Is everyone happy now? Hey, is this thing on? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, all good.